I'd Greetings rather have to someone me. else just repair it. I hate to have to take time to repair it. What kind of deal can I make for you today? Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Appreciate your business. Goodbye. Please come again. Can I help you? He's upstairs. Go ahead. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? Emperor Uriel? Do you know something about his death? You'd better explain yourself. Now. You brought me the Amulet of Kings? This cannot be. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the emperor was aware of. I am one of the few who know of his existence. Many years ago, I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. 
Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvac, south of here. You must go to Kvac and find him at once. If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. I keep a few things here in my chest to resupply traveling blades. I know that you are on an important mission for the Blades. Please, if you need a horse, take mine from the Priory Stables. Go with Tal... I'm the Shepherd here. Eranor's the name. Well, I normally stay out of the affair, but go ahead and take this hammer. You might have use of it, and I have others. Not much call for smith work around. Well, we both have better things to do. Come on, run while there's still time. The guard still holds the road, but it's only a matter of time before they're overwhelmed. God's blood. You don't know, do you? Deidre overran Kvach last night. There were glowing portals outside the walls, gates to oblivion itself. There was a huge creature, something out of a nightmare, came right over the walls, blasting fire that swarmed around it killing. Go and see for yourself. Kvach is a smoking ruin. We're all that's left. Do you understand me? Everyone else is dead. It was Savly and Matthias. Some of the other guards helped some of us escape. They cut their way out right through the city gates. Savly and says they can hold the road. No, no, I don't believe him. Nothing can stop them! If you'd seen it, you'd know! I'm getting out of here before it's too late. They'll be here any minute, I'm telling you! Run when you can! What do you want? Late at night, while we were all asleep, the door to oblivion opened. Deidre came out and set fire to the town. Many people died, but... Don't you give too. Up. You're not alone. And the chapel and the elder council will help us. It just takes time. I'm just lucky to be alive. Hope is gone. The Imperial line is dead. The Covenant is broken. Things go from bad to worse nowadays. Priest. If you mean the priest, I don't think he made... But Savly and Matthias might... Stop talking.
Stand back, civilian. This is no place for you. Get back to the encampment at once. We lost the damn city. That's what happened! It was too much. Too fast. We were overwhelmed. Couldn't even get everyone out. There are still people trapped in there. Some made it to the chapel, but others were just run down in the streets. And now we can't even get back. The only thing we can do. We'll try to hold our ground, that's what. If we can't hold this barricade, those beasts could... You want to help? You're kidding, right? Hmm. If you're serious, maybe I can put you to use. It'll likely mean your death, though. Are you sure? I don't know how to close this gate, but it must be possible. You can see the marks on the ground where they were. The great gate right in the middle. I sent men into the gate to see if they could find a way to shut it. They haven't come back. If you can get in there, find out what happened to them. If they're alive, help them finish the job. If not, see what you can do on your own. The best I can say is good luck. If you make it back alive, we'll be waiting for you. It's a brave thing. The Nine. I never thought I'd see another friendly face. The others... Taken. They were taken to the tower. Captain Mattias sent us in to try and close the gate. We were ambushed, trapped. I managed to... I'm... The captain is still holding the barricade. 